Have you ever wondered how factories manage to produce millions of tons of perfectly smooth, unsalted, extra creamy butter? Behind the scenes, a fascinating process turns raw cream into the staple we all love. From precision machinery to expert craftsmanship, here's how it all comes together. From farm to factory, sourcing the cream. The journey of producing millions of tons of unsalted extra creamy butter begins with sourcing the highest quality raw material, milk. This milk is typically sourced from local dairy farms where cows are raised under strict welfare and hygiene standards. Farmers ensure that the cows are fed a nutrient-rich diet to enhance the quality of the milk they produce. Once collected, the milk undergoes initial testing for purity and composition to meet the factory's specifications. Only milk with the right balance of fat and protein content qualifies for butter production. After the milk passes the preliminary quality checks, it is transported in refrigerated tankers to the processing facility. These tankers are equipped to maintain a consistent temperature, preventing spoilage during transit. Upon arrival at the factory, the milk is further analyzed in advanced laboratories. Technicians test for contaminants, microbial activity, and overall freshness. The goal is to ensure that only the freshest and purest milk enters the next stage of processing. To extract the cream, the milk undergoes a separation process using centrifugal machines. These machines spin the milk at high speeds, separating it into two primary components, cream and skimmed milk. The cream, which contains a higher fat content, is collected for butter production. This step is critical because the quality of the cream directly impacts the taste, texture, and richness of the final product. Once separated, the cream is stored in chilled tanks until it is ready for pasteurization. Maintaining the cream at a specific temperature is essential to preserve its natural flavor and prevent bacterial growth. This careful sourcing and handling process sets the stage for creating high-quality, extra creamy butter, purifying the cream, ensuring quality and freshness. Purification is a key step in the butter-making process to ensure the cream's quality and freshness. The first stage involves pasteurization, where the cream is heated to a precise temperature to eliminate harmful bacteria and enzymes. Unlike boiling, pasteurization is carefully controlled to retain the cream's natural flavor while extending its shelf life. The cream is then rapidly cooled to lock in freshness. To further enhance quality, the cream undergoes filtration processes to remove any residual impurities. High-tech filtration systems, such as microfiltration and ultrafiltration, are employed to ensure the cream is free from particles or contaminants. This step guarantees the consistency and safety of the product, which is especially crucial when producing butter on an industrial scale. The cream is also tested for its fat content during purification. Factories maintain strict guidelines for the fat-to-water ratio to achieve the desired creamy texture. Adjustments are made if the cream falls outside the required parameters. For instance, additional cream might be blended in, or water might be removed through evaporation to achieve the perfect balance. Finally, the purified cream is stored in sterile, temperature-controlled tanks. These tanks are equipped with agitators to prevent separation and maintain uniformity. This meticulous purification process ensures that the cream meets the high standards necessary for producing premium quality, unsalted, extra creamy butter. Churning magic transforming cream into butter. The heart of butter production lies in the churning process. This stage transforms liquid cream into solid butter through mechanical agitation. In industrial settings, massive churners or continuous butter making machines are used to handle the large volumes required. These machines replicate the traditional churning method but on a much larger scale. During churning, the cream is agitated until the fat molecules clump together, separating from the liquid component known as buttermilk. The process is closely monitored to ensure the butter achieves the desired consistency and texture. The separation of buttermilk is a critical moment, as it marks the transformation of cream into butter. The buttermilk is drained and often repurposed for other dairy products, minimizing waste. To enhance the butter's creamy texture, Additional steps such as kneading and folding are performed within the machinery. These processes help distribute the remaining moisture evenly throughout the butter, ensuring a smooth and uniform product. 
Factories also employ advanced sensors to measure the moisture content and make real-time adjustments as needed. One key aspect of this stage is the absence of salt in the production process. The factory ensures that no salt is added to the butter, adhering to the unsalted specification. This step not only caters to consumer preferences, but also makes the butter versatile for various culinary applications. By the end of the churning process, the cream has been fully transformed into rich, extra creamy butter, ready for the next stage. Salt-free perfection, creating unsalted butter. The creation of unsalted butter requires precision and care to maintain its natural flavor. Unlike salted butter, which uses salt as a preservative and flavor enhancer, unsalted butter relies solely on the quality of the cream for its taste. This makes the choice of cream and the processing methods even more critical. To achieve this, factories ensure that the butter remains free from any additives during production. The churning process is meticulously monitored to prevent contamination or unintended salt introduction. Advanced machinery is calibrated to maintain strict hygiene standards, ensuring the butter retains its pure, creamy taste. Unsalted butter must also meet specific texture and moisture standards. Factories conduct rigorous testing to ensure the butter is smooth, pliable, and free from air pockets. These tests often involve sampling the product at various stages of production. Quality assurance teams work alongside production staff to address any inconsistencies immediately. Packaging also plays a vital role in preserving the freshness of unsalted butter. Factories use airtight, light-blocking materials to shield the butter from exposure to oxygen and light, which can cause spoilage. By the time the unsalted butter leaves the factory, it is a pristine product ready for consumer use offering a pure, creamy flavor ideal for both cooking and baking. Shaping and Packaging Butter in its final form After the butter is churned and quality checked, it moves to the shaping and packaging stage. This is where the butter takes its final form, whether as blocks, sticks, or tubs. Factories employ automated systems to handle this process with speed and precision, ensuring consistency across millions of units. The butter is first portioned using advanced cutting machines that slice it into the desired shapes and sizes. These machines are equipped with sensors to ensure uniformity, which is essential for both aesthetic and functional purposes. For instance, butter sticks are shaped to fit standard packaging and consumer expectations. Next, the butter is wrapped in protective materials such as wax paper, foil, or plastic. These materials are designed to prevent moisture loss and protect the butter from external contaminants. High-speed wrapping machines ensure that each unit is sealed perfectly, maintaining the product's freshness. In addition to traditional packaging, some factories also produce bulk formats for food service industries. These large blocks of butter are packaged in heavy-duty materials and labeled for distribution to restaurants, bakeries, and other businesses. The packaging process concludes with labeling, where essential information such as weight, expiration date, and nutritional content is printed. Cold storage and transportation, preserving freshness. Once packaged, the butter is moved to cold storage facilities designed to maintain optimal conditions. These facilities are kept at temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, to prevent spoilage and maintain the butter's creamy texture. The storage environment is also controlled for humidity to prevent the butter from drying out. Logistics teams work meticulously to ensure the butter's freshness during transportation. Refrigerated trucks equipped with temperature monitoring systems are used to transport the butter to distribution centers. These systems provide real-time data, allowing logistics teams to address any temperature fluctuations immediately. During transportation, special care is taken to handle the butter gently avoiding damage to the packaging. Factories often use shock-resistant packaging materials to further protect the product. The goal is to ensure that the butter reaches its destination in the same pristine condition as when it left the factory. This stage is particularly crucial for international shipments. Butter exported to different countries must comply with local regulations and undergo additional inspections. These rigorous measures ensure that the butter remains fresh and meets the high standards expected by consumers worldwide. Global Distribution – Delivering Butter to the World 
The final step in the butter production process is its distribution to markets around the globe. Factories coordinate with logistics companies to ship the butter to grocery stores, supermarkets, and food service providers. This involves a combination of refrigerated trucks, cargo ships, and airplanes to ensure timely delivery. To meet the demand for millions of tons of butter, factories maintain a robust supply chain. This includes advanced inventory management systems that track the product's journey from the factory to the consumer. Retailers are provided with real-time updates on shipment status, ensuring shelves are stocked without delays. In addition to domestic markets, factories also cater to international demand. Exported butter is often packaged with additional labeling to meet the language and regulatory requirements of the destination country. Customs clearance and inspections are conducted to ensure the product's compliance with local standards. Marketing and branding also play a role in global distribution. Factories invest in visually appealing packaging and promotional campaigns to attract consumers. By the time the butter reaches store shelves, it is not just a product, but a symbol of quality and reliability. This extensive distribution network ensures that millions of consumers worldwide can enjoy the rich, creamy taste of unsalted, extra creamy butter. We'd love to hear from you. What part of the butter making process surprised you the most? Or do you have a favorite way to enjoy creamy butter? Let us know in the comments below. And if you don't want to miss more incredible behind the scenes videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We've got so much more exciting content coming your way.